everyone and today we are going to be learning about the time it module in python now if you're not familiar with modules don't worry you can watch my video on modules i'll just put the um link up here uh in this corner over here um and i will be doing this in chapter notebook i'll also be putting a practice notebook link in the description below so you can download it and look at it if you're stuck and i guess we should start um learning about the time it module in python let's get on to it so here is my practice notebook um and obviously uh, you could have guessed or you could not have guessed, but what the time it module does is it times your code. So some people like might have wanted to time their code. This is where they can use the time it module. Okay. So first, if we want to use the time it module, we need to import it. So it's a built-in um it's a it's a built-in uh uh what is it called modules so you don't need to uh, download it or anything so you need to say import import let me just put the m over there import and we want to import timer okay so this is all lowercase okay so no capitals so once we have done that we should actually start learning but before that i want to, to uh get your minds ready before we actually start otherwise you won't have anything to work on so let's say we wanted to make a string and it was like one dash two dash three dash four dash five and then we want it to go all the way up to dash 99 how are we going to do that so it's actually very simple all you need to do is use a for loop and a join function so i'm going to put in dash dot join so we want to join um we want to join some things with this dash so first we want to convert our some numbers to a string so we can actually join them together because you can't join numbers together you can only join strings together so we're going to say string n that's our number for n in range 100 so basically what i'm trying to say here is i want to join all the numbers in range 100 so it won't include 100 it will only go up to 99 and i want to join all those numbers with a dash so if we run this there we go so we get our desired output so now we need to know how to uh, we want to know how to time it okay so we've got the desired output but what if we wanted to time how long it actually took okay because we can't really count it it'd probably be something like milliseconds so this is why we can use the time it module so first we want to do this in steps so you can remember it easily so what i can do is i can copy this so it's still there um and paste it so we can just use on here so first you need to create make this statement into a string so what i'm going to do is instead of putting double quotes i'm going to put in single quotes so it's more clear um and after this we need to add brackets around our string now so what we need to add brackets um and right uh right in front of the brackets we need to put in time it dot time it okay so we can time our code and also we need to put in a second argument so our first argument is our string over here so the code we want to run and our second argument is how many times we want to run this code and check the time of so i'm going to say number so we need to always put in number I'm going to put in uh, one uh, 100,000, actually no, 10,000, sorry. So now if we run this, I get 0 0.33234, all of those numbers, okay? So um, basically, uh, what this, uh, if we try to round this, we can uh, round it. So hopefully that will work. 
and then just round it to do decimal places. So we get 0 0.33. So um, that's not really the speed of my computer, but sometimes it goes slow, sometimes it goes faster. So basically right now it's 0 0.33 uh, to two decimal places, okay? So it's easier if we round it, otherwise it'll be a bit too long because the floats are actually really long. So just come round it to as many decimal places as you like so it's readable. So, as I told you, it's, it took 0 0.33 uh, to two decimal places, okay? So, um, now, you can actually uh, put in a list comprehension. You can also time list comprehensions. So, we can copy this because we won't be making anything different, except we need to um, add, uh, we need to add, brackets around this for loop okay so we need to add square brackets around this for loop so it is a, a list comprehension okay so if we run this we get 0 0.34 okay so again it depends on computer speed sometimes it's slower sometimes it's quicker because um as i told you this isn't the actual um speed of my computer it's just because sometimes it goes a bit um slow sometimes it goes a bit fast so don't worry if you don't get exactly the same number it could just be the computer speed so also there is a method you can use and this is th there's a function you can use and it's called map so let's see what time we'll get now so if we do this what we can do is write um right here we can just take away all of uh we can take away all of this so just this piece over here we can say so obviously i want to do that i want to join so dot join all i'm going to do is going i'm going to put in map and then after that I'm going to put in my uh the, I want to put in what I want to convert it to a string and what I want to actually join range okay so as you can see this is much easier it's a bit uh shorter and don't forget to put in three brackets uh don't forget to put in three brackets at the end and um these two over here so if we run this whoops what happened here well, okay we need to put in uh, what we do what do we need to do we need to uh, let me just uh, check this so I could have gotten confused somewhat okay so what we did here um, is we need to add a single quote over there so if we just add single okay so now if we run this we get 0 0.28 so notice how it's um much more uh it's got much more lower time that is because the map function actually makes it more more quicker and efficient so it gives you a lower time okay so sometimes this may not uh the if you write code like this it may not be compatible with jupyter notebook even if it's compatible with other idealies so here is where we can use magic methods now uh, magic methods only um magic methods come with ipython and you can only use ipython in jupyter notebook so that's why they're called um they are you can only use them in jupyter notebook okay so Thankfully, IPython has already does already have a time it magic method, so it won't be too hard. So what we can do is we can take this. So what we can do before we actually take that, actually, we can put a percentage sign and then time it. So what does this mean? So let me just put that in lowercase time it. So what does this mean? Basically, what I'm trying to say here is i am going to say i'm trying to say i want to use the time it magic method i want to put a space uh, i can copy this and paste that okay so basically what this time it magic method is going to do is it is going to run this code um 
it is going to run this code a certain number of times so if we run this uh, it should come eventually um, so depending on your computer speed basically it, it should come eventually um, and it's as you can see this is quite hard to read um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down for you so what it did here it took 1.68 milliseconds per loop okay so this is what this bit means and here um, this over here it is saying that our computer run this statement seven times and e uh, every time it ran it it made it this uh looped ten thousand times okay so pretty lot so i don't know why but my computer's a bit slow today but it doesn't matter it just uh, so we know um what our timing method does so basically um it is telling me that it ran seven times uh, each time it ran, it uh, executed this for loop over here. So this uh, for loop over here, um, one ten thousand times. Okay, and it took one point six eight milliseconds per loop. Okay, so that's decent. It's not too bad. But you can also do this with list comprehensions as well. So this is how you can uh, this is how you can do it. So again, you need to put in time it because this uh, we're trying to use a time it magic method. Um, and also we can uh, put, use this over here. So what we can do, uh, we can use this list comprehension over here and then put it over here so make sure you take away the um the strings so you make sure you take away the single quotes otherwise it won't work and now if we run this it should uh, come up any second now it says it took uh, it took 2.63 per loop so that is actually pretty slow uh, and here it says it, it it says the same as before. Uh, we can also do this with map it with the map function. So what we can do again is we can say time it, and then we can copy this without the without the single quotations. Okay. If we do that and run it, we should get C. So this time it took. Uh, quite a long time again that is depending on computer speed okay so sometimes it comes slow sometimes it comes fast but here it says 28 so actually you may be thinking it came a bit uh, slow but actually it came quite fast okay so this actually took the longest of all this took shorter and shorter okay so basically it depends on this okay so don't it shouldn't really matter about this just look at this and then you'll know that it's running quicker or longer than the one before so if um these are basically uh all you need to know on uh time it there are other methods uh for the time module as well so what you can do is you can go to your browser and you can search up um time it module in Python and basically um, as you can see here uh, it says time it Python so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that and I get the official documentation so I'd actually um, uh, recommend using the official documentation because it's more clearer and it doesn't have any um la it doesn't uh, all of it is the truth so it's all truth truthful okay so you don't need to worry about if it's wrong or not so here we um have uh basically all we have all the things you can do with time it so you could say time it dot time it which we used before we can say time it dot repeat uh we can say time it dot default timer uh and then class time it and dot timer okay so you can look at those if you like 
but you can also go to command line interface um there are some examples here of that um and this is actually very short documentation but either way it's actually really really helpful so here we could actually use this uh over here but um i i don't want to show you in uh in case you guys don't understand so i would recommend reading all of this um and i hope you uh know all the basics of time it and remember there is a notebook um on the time it module i'll just uh bring it up over here so here there's just this notebook i made for you guys uh on the time it module it's just got a few more explanations it's much more clearer okay so it's just got a few more explanations and here where we uh convert um actually timed it we have some code over here and steps um and also we have magic methods uh and how to uh break down the output and all that we learned just right now so if i just take this uh, away um we're back here so um as you uh, as you have seen we did a little bit of code but that is all you need to actually know so this is actually the main part you need to know about time it so I hope you liked this video and if you did please click the like button um, and please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any suggestions please suggest them in the discussion uh, in the comments below. Uh, you can also put any doubts in the comments or you can go to my channel and give me those doubts in the discussion section. And also if you um if you are stuck remember i am going to put the link of the practice notebook below so you can just go ahead and refer to it um and uh, i will also be putting the link of uh this over here in case you can't find it so you can just access it in the practice notebook so i guess that's the end of this video bye